Hello friends, very good evening to all of you. Hope you are all doing well. This week we have had some very important sessions, short sessions on YouTube. So today we will have another short session, but an important one nonetheless. And today I will be discussing with you thyroid cancer and its staging. Now, the TNM staging that used to be followed has undergone a few modifications known as AJCC 8th edition. So the AJCC 8th edition is a new staging for thyroid cancer, oral malignancies and so on, which I want to discuss today because this is going to be a very high yield topic for all your entrance exams. Uh, as I wait for people to join in, let me tell you a little bit about our platform and about me. So I am Dr. Amrit Naska. I am your surgery educator on the on Academy platform. I am a bariatric surgeon from Mumbai. Please follow my profile by downloading the Unacademy learning app. On this app, you will find my profile. You will find you will get updates about my upcoming special classes, my YouTube sessions, as well as the profile of a lot of educators on our platform who will help you with your preparation for all upcoming entrance exams. Now, if you are planning to subscribe to Plus, a lot of interesting match courses have just started. They are very focused courses. Right. So whether you're appearing for NEED PG, which is less than a month away, or whether you're appearing for next 2022, INICT and so on, all these match courses will help you prepare. Remember, this is the code to use if you wish to subscribe, that is 10 surgery. Okay. I'll tell you more about this as we go on. But first, let me give you an idea of the kind of question that they will frame on thyroid cancer staging. All right, let's see if any of you can solve this. You can reply in the YouTube chat box. I can see your messages there and I'll re reply on the chat box. And please feel free to ask your doubts. It's a very interesting question. The kind of question which you may get in your exam because a lot of new things have happened in thyroid cancer staging. Right, so there is a 50 year old male. He presents with a goiter or a neck swelling of size five centimeters. It is a follicular lesion on FNAC. Now, I hope we know that FNAC cannot differentiate between benign or malignant follicular tumors. Right? I don't need to discuss that because follicular tumors, to differentiate, I need to look for basement membrane infiltration. I need to look for vascular metastasis. Right? This I don't get to see on FNAC. So when I do the FNAC, I see a follicular lesion. Let's say the person undergoes a total thyroidectomy. Surgical resection is done. That is the only time when I come to know it is a follicular carcinoma. Now, because it was a malignancy, I did a whole body iodine scan and the person was found to have skull metastasis. What is the clinical stage of this patient or the new TNM stage of this patient? Let me be very clear. There are a lot of changes in some of the cancer stagings which we need to be aware of. Thyroid being one of them. Other cancer is oral malignancy, CA penis. These are some of the important cancers where the changes are very remarkable. So what stage does this patient belong to? Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. Now, common sense would tell me skull metastasis. Metastasis becomes M1. Right. So common sense would tell me M1 should be stage four. Right. But let me be very clear. This is the, these are the kind of questions which will make or break our ranks. Understand this patient is 50 years old. Now, what is the change in the new TNM? The new TNM stage says if the age of the patient is less than 55 years. Now understand TNM, we normally think size nodes met. We never think age will ever be a consideration. For most cancers, age is not. If the age is less than 55 years, then there is no T3, uh, stage 3, stage 4. There is only stage 1, stage 2. So if there is skull metastasis and the age is below 55 years, this becomes stage 2. Okay. If this kind of a question comes in the exam, on the face of it, it looks very straightforward. Okay, skull metastasis, hematogenous metastasis, M1, stage four, not for thyroid. Okay, not for thyroid. So let me tell you clearly, what is the new 
TNM AJCC staging. So this is AJCC 8th. This has come in 2018. If you open Bailey, Bailey gives AJCC 7th. It mentions AJCC 8. Okay. And it tells you there are some changes, but it does not give the way I'm going to give you. This I found online. Now, for thyroid cancer, the stage and the TNN vary if you are above 55 or below 55. How does it vary? I'll tell you. T1, T2, T3, T4. What is T1? Tumor of size up to 2 centimeters. T2, tumor of size 2 to 4 centimeters. It's actually more than 2. Up to 4 centimeters. T3, more than 4 centimeters. Or there is a new addition over here. Anybody can tell me what else is a part of T3? It's actually T3A and T3B. What is T3B? This is newly added. Uh, simply put, you call it involvement of strap muscles, which is also called as extra thyroid extension it is also called as extra thyroid extension or involvement of strap muscles normally when the tumor is locally advanced it is not t3 normally it is t4 but in this case involvement of strap muscles keeps it t3 there is one more cancer where if the tumor involves the muscles some of the muscles it remains t3 it does not become t4 anybody can tell me which tumor is this where if the tumor involves one of the adjacent muscles, it still remains T3, does not become T4. Yeah, any idea which tumor is that? It's a superficial tumor, very important tumor with a very important staging, something that we must know. Yeah, which tumor is that? Where involvement of muscle keeps it at T3. Right, absolutely. So that tumor is breast. Remember, if the breast cancer spreads to the pec major involvement of pec major keeps it as t3 or t2 depending on the size involvement of pec major does not upstate similarly involvement of strap muscles for goiter or thyroid cancers keeps it at t3 it's called t3b t4 a and b everybody knows t4 a resectable surrounding structures okay Resectable surrounding structures, larynx, esophagus, those kind of things. T4B, unresectable surrounding structures, carotid sheath, base of skull. Okay, unresectable surrounding structures. That is T1, T2, T3, T4. Uh, which other tumor, superficial tumor, has a very similar T stage? See, you have to correlate. That is the only way you will remember. Otherwise, there are hundreds of cancers with their stagings. We can't remember each and every one. Till you don't correlate, till you don't group them together, you will never remember. So, which other tumor has a similar, almost the same T stage? Okay, has almost the same T stage. Yes, I can see your answers in the chat box. So, please reply over there if you know the answer. So, remember, yes, absolutely right. If it is oral malignancy. Oral malignancies have the same T stage. Oral malignancy, AJCC 8, maybe there are some changes. Okay, that is not a discussion for today. I don't want to add to your confusion, but remember, their T stage is the same. Okay, it is almost the same. Strap muscle near the oral malignancy, but T stage is the same. N stage is different. Okay, N and oral is different from N and thyroid. N and thyroid is very easy. Which is the most common involved lymph node in? Thyroid cancer, most commonly involved. So there is N1A, N1B. That's it. Fortunately, that's all there is. There is N1A, N1B. So most common lymph node involved in thyroid cancer, we know that one. That is your level 6, also called as Delphian node. Lateral aberrant thyroid, so Delphian node. Nowadays, even level 7, media style, is N4A. This is newly added. Earlier level 7 in AJCC 7 was N N1B. It's okay. Now it is N1A only. N1B are the other nodes, 1 to 5. These nodes are not commonly involved. They go, if 6 is involved, then it can go to 5, 4, 3 like that. 
so normally one to five are not involved if they are involved it is a high stage that is n1b okay so level one to five becomes n1b there is no end to end three fortunately like in oral cancers there is n1 n2 n3 is means there n1 e and of course the third one is m0 m1 m1 is distant metastasis everybody knows that no doubt about it now in someone who is aged more than 55 years old there this tnm has a bearing because there you have stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 depending on which components are involved however if the <clears throat> age is below 55 years this is the clincher if the age is below 55 years there is no stage 3 stage 4 there is only stage 1 and stage 2 anybody can tell me what is stage 1 stage 2 in someone who's younger with a thyroid cancer so if i am a younger patient and i have a thyroid cancer i won't have these 1 2 3 4 stages i have only stage 1 stage 2 stage 1 will be nat nen but m0 and stage 2 will be nat nen but m1 this was what the question that i discussed okay this was the question that i discussed if the age is below 55 years m is the only deciding factor of the stage and there are only two stages stage 1 and stage 2 if he's above 55 years then you have 1 2 3 4 4 where four will be m1 3 will be uh, n1 b t4 those are three and 1 and 2 are the smaller ones t1 n0 t2 n0 t1 n1 a those are stage 1 stage 2 utna apne ko janne ki zarurat nahi because it does not have too much of a bearing on the treatment okay treatment is not really dependent on this so it's okay this is more of a prognostic stage really speaking this has more prognostic value than treatment value because the treatment of all differentiated thyroid cancers is going to be total thyroidectomy and then you investigate for metastasis and then you treat right lymphadenectomy depends on the status of the nodes so whether it is age below 55 or about 55 will have a bearing on the stage this is what i want you to remember first this was not the same in old ajcc so now that you understood the staging let me tell you the difference of ajcc 8 now first and foremost ye jo age criteria hai in the older one the age was not 55 it was 45 so you were either below 45 or above 45 and then the staging was as i showed you above 45 1 2 3 4 below 45 1 and 2 this age has changed to 55 years so if i am below 55 then only stage 1 stage 2 depending on the m metastatic status extra thyroid extension or strap muscle involvement this is also new strap muscle involvement becomes t3b earlier it was t4 they changed it and you know made it a stage lower that is t3b lymph node groups i already told you that is there is only n1a which has level 6 and level 7 newly added and n1b i told you 1 2 3 4 5 <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> now let's be very clear this tnm staging that we have discussed applies only to papillary and follicular thyroid cancers only to papillary and follicular like the patient i discussed was follicular only to these patients this staging applies if the pathology was anaplastic okay if it was an anaplastic cancer whether it is any age any age any t any n any m the stage is defined that is going to be stage 4 please remember this absolutely absolutely second important point of the day if it is anaplastic don't make a difference h t n m don't have to count straight away becomes t4 sorry stage 4 straight away stage 4 and the last thing is if he is a medullary thyroid cancer now understand medullary thyroid cancers are not unique to 40 50 year old they can be seen in a younger population also if i have men syndrome 
I can get it at a young age. So MTC, the TNM is the same. Only thing is age is not included. Age is not included. So ऐसा नहीं है that if the age is below fifty five, you go by stage one, stage two only. It's not so for MTC. So if in this question, if instead of follicular, if this person had a medullary thyroid cancer with skull metastasis, you go by the normal T and M stage, and then he would have been stage four. उसमें this age does not matter. I hope I am absolutely clear on this. So let's be very clear that this TNM stage with the age as a factor applies to differentiated thyroid cancers. That means papillary or follicular. Only in these two will I count the age. Otherwise, I don't take the age as a matter of fact. If it is anaplastic, any age, any T, any N, any M, he is stage four. And if it is MTC. You take the normal TNM and you don't count the age because MTC can happen in a younger age also. Okay, so these are the important new points which have been included in the HSCC eighth edition of thyroid cancer. The reason I have spent so much time, taken a whole session to discuss TNM of thyroid because a it's not given in Bailey. We don't really study it. It is a very virgin topic. It has not really been explored in too many exams. So. HSCC of thyroid, HSCC of oral malignancies, must know. Okay, absolutely important. So hope you guys have enjoyed this class. Uh, there are a lot of free tests which are happening, which you need to take full benefit of. I regularly take special classes on the app. Please attend my special classes. Please attend my YouTube sessions. I have taken some really nice YouTube sessions this month on re revising GI surgery. They are already taken. you can go through them i have taken some on vascular surgery also you can see them bahut hi acche sessions hai with really interesting mcqs for your entrance exams if you wish to learn topics like thyroid breast oral malignancy everything in general surgery from me in detail comprehensively you can subscribe to plus or to iconic plus has benefits of live classes structured schedule and batch courses iconic has benefits of plus as well as prep ladder video lectures handwritten notes and so on it's your choice whatever plan you take depends on your target if your target is next year take a long plan if your target is this year itself i n i c t f m g take a short plan i have covered all these topics in depth in detail on plus platform okay if you subscribe this is the code to use ten surgery This code will get you a ten percent discount in whatever subscription plan you choose, as you can see. Please follow my profile, and remember to like this video. I will be taking more such videos to make your life easy on more important cancers. If you have any doubts, please follow me on Telegram. This is my Telegram link, where I regularly update about my upcoming classes. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this class. Have a good day, study well, and I'll see you for my upcoming classes.